This week we're going to be talking a lot about renewing of our minds and how we can renew our minds. Romans chapter 12 speaks of this renewing of our minds and it talks about it this way. It says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what is God's will for us, his good, his pleasing and perfect will. Why are Christians called to be different from the world? Why? I, that's a question for the ages. Why has God called us to be different from the world? Well, I think we have to then look at how do we accomplish that? How do we accomplish in our lives being different from the world? What makes a Christian stand out from the rest of the world? You know, is it how we speak? Is it how we dress? Well, it's actually all of those things and many, many more. Everyone around us should know that we are Christians by the way we talk, by the way we act in all situations, by the way we love, by the way we give mercy and grace to people. All those things are part of our Christian walk, our life in Christ. And and like I like the passage said, we are not to be of this world. We live in it, but not to be of it. So how do we transform our minds? How does that happen? How can we truly transform our minds? Well, we can't transform our minds. Only God can. Only God can transform our minds with the working of his Holy Spirit. He has to be the one, but we have to give him permission. We have to allow him to come in. We have to allow him then to work in our life and on our life and in, in, in changing our thoughts, our, our ideas, everything that then is focused on serving Christ and serving others. We have to rely on the Holy Spirit. That is really the only way that that can happen, that we rely on him to work in our lives. God is waiting for us to ask him. He's just standing there at the door saying, ask me and I will come in and I will help you change your life and your mind. The Christian experience should not be a stationary one. And that's where a lot of Christians, I think, find the struggle is, okay, I've now become a Christian, but now what? Well, the what is serving, loving, giving, being a part of, becoming a part of, and following Christ. But it all has to happen in here first. Every bit of it has to happen in here. So the journey is more and more about the day-to-day, -day, the, the work it takes, the prayer time, all those pieces that are so important to changing how we think and what we do. We we looked at, we, we've talked a little bit here about you know, allowing the mind of Christ to dwell in us and with within our minds and within our hearts. So when we make the decision to not be conformed to this world, we are making the decision to become more like Christ every single day. We must allow the Holy Spirit, like I said, to renew our minds, to guide our hearts and our choices. However, sometimes we fall and we do things that we don't want to do and we do things that are not glorifying Christ. And so, God has made provisions in that, and he talks about that in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. He says, we, we do not have to be entangled up in all of the snares and the entrapments of this world, that all the sin that surrounds us, we don't have to be tied up to it. The world we live in is that just that, the world we live in. God is calling us to something that is better, that is more abundant, and that he wants us to renew our hearts and minds so that we can experience that in him. Second Corinthians, I'll end on this. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 17 says this. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and the new life has now begun. I challenge you this week to look at renewing your spirit, renewing your heart, renewing your mind, allowing God to live and dwell there so that you then can live that abundant life, a new life that he wants for you. Have a great day.